And so thank you very much, everyone. That's it in terms of this year. Nothing else happened. Nothing at all. We didn't go to India. So it's, and I tried, right? I told my team, look, I don't remember the India trip. I mean, I think to myself, oh, we should really go to India sometime. The same way, you know, I say to myself every now and then, you know, they really should have made a Highlander 2 sometime because that was such a great movie. So I told them I repressed, repressed the entire trip and they said, that's okay. We, wait, we went ahead and made a slideshow for you. Aren't I lucky? So uh, let's rip off that Band-Aid. Can we roll it, please? Okay, so this is a very short summary of India Trip 2018. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. One day, a long, long time ago, my team was like, let's go to India to strengthen people-to-people -people ties and generate investment in Canada. And I said, okay. And that was the beginning of the end. This is me studying my cocktail napkins on the flight over. So much hope, so much hard work. Little did I know. But listen, despite the blaring, negative, wall-to-wall -wall international ridicule, it was a pretty good trip. See, here we are being welcomed on arrival by the Minister of Agriculture. <laughs> Apparently, you people don't get this, but according to Lawrence McCauley and Kelsey Johnson from iPolitics, this is a very big deal. <laughs> and here I am meeting with the CEO of Infosys, a company that, for the record, announced new investments in Canada during the course of this trip. But you guys didn't report on it because I was wearing a shirt and tie. Boring. <laughs> but at least now, the people watching this on CPAC will know about the investment. All 20 of you. Here's Hadrian, earning his keep, hard at work on behalf of the middle class. And those working hard to join it, move. <laughs> Here I am meeting Bollywood star Shah Rukh Khan. And wow, one of us is seriously underdressed. How embarrassing for him. <laughs> and here I am trying to make Harj feel less bad for being underdressed. <laughs> People were making fun of him. It was really sad. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me unpack this one a bit for you. First, for the record, we are signing the guest book at the Gandhi Memorial in Delhi. Second, Hadrian is planking with an awful lot of conviction for a four-year-old. See, this was the point where he just totally gave up on the trip. Of course, I was sort of feeling the same, but no. Sunny ways strikes again. And, and, and third, and most notably, if you look in the upper right corner, you can spot Terry Guillaume. <laughs> now, you all know Terry. Him, you take seriously. Yes, yes, round of applause for Terry, yeah. <laughs> see, you can see the look on his face. And he later admitted to me that this was the moment where it suddenly dawned on him that flipping to the PMO was perhaps not the best career choice. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't know how this got in here. That, this, this is not from India. This is an actual shot of the new national on CBC. If you look really, really close, you can see Rosie. <laughs> Mais comme vous le savez, Sophie était aussi sur le voyage. Elle a vécu des moments inoubliables. Elle a même fait la une de plusieurs journaux internationaux avec cette photo. Right. What a gorgeous photo. I mean, media couldn't stop talking about this one. Such a beautiful dress. And that's a wrap.
That was India. Ladies and gentlemen, the trip to end all trips. Seriously, I've told my team I'm not going anywhere ever again.